Good morning. We are leaving Matsue and headed straight to Kawamoto. But before we do that, let me show you what I've done yesterday. Matsue Castle was constructed from 1607 to 1611. The castle is one of the few remaining Japanese castles made in a wooden form and not concrete like the Osaka Castle, which is seen in the previous content. This day, a cruise made a stop at the Matsue port. There were many French speakers that were visiting the castle. Kirara Beach is located along the coast side heading into Kawamoto. It was a beautiful day out. And there is a small shop overlooking the beach. In the shop, you can buy gifts and souvenirs. There was a small farmer's market open as well. I bought some takoyaki, which is basically a snack with the octopus, and covered in batter. It was so delicious. And here we are in Kawamoto. There are more trees than the human population in this town. Let me give you an example. Here is the map of Japan. The highlight shows where Izumo is. And Kawamoto is about two and a half hours by car. And here is another map of Shimane Prefecture. This town is very small, but it has one of everything. Example, there is a shrine, a few grocery stores, barber shop, cafe, and of course restaurants. Several places will take cards, but Japan is a cash-based country, so have cash with you. Example, there is only one hotel in this town. And I unfortunately had the experience of carrying fewer cash than I needed when I went to check in. In cases like this, you can go to a convenience store where they usually have places to exchange currency. I went to the post office in Kawamoto and got enough money to last me throughout the trip. If you really want to experience Shimane Prefecture, I recommend that you go to Izumo. Shimane has a mascot and it's a cat. Its name is Shimaneko. Neko in Japanese means cat and you're in Shimane Prefecture. So it's called Shimaneko. Get it? The unique and most famous thing about the shrine is that every year from the 10th to the 17th of the 10th lunar month that usually falls in November all the Shinto deities from across the land gather at Izumo for a meeting if you're big into mythology this is the place that you'd like to visit as this place is packed with mythological stories I hope you enjoyed this today so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.